call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, yeah. rockin' nigga, wow. Booty, 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 rockin' nigga, wow. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. So in this video I'm going to be talking about what's the toughest part as far as for taking the certified medical assistant test as far as for the NCCT. Um, there are different fields as far as for the certified test but I will be only discussing just this one. Um, I did want to mention as far as for what to expect, how to be prepared and will you pass and fail. So y'all stay tuned as far as for the video. shout out any um, current medical assistants or anybody that's about to take the test and stuff like that good luck to you do not give up if you end up failing the first time do take it again and if you end up passing with flying colors congratulations um i think it all depends on the school and how the school team all right so for the least important let's start off with biohazard signs biohazard signs will be on there it'll be thrown in there just a couple of questions um like mr tony um with pop quiz he'll make sure that we will memorize at least like 10 of the uh, codes itself so we'll memorize 10 of the icd of question that'll be on the test if the doctor administrate 200 milligrams of gabapentin daily gabapentin the safer is like a pain medication uh, the newborn with a diaper rash a patient with a fever of 102 or a patient with chest issues which one should be seen first out of those it's always different it's always a different order sometimes so i don't know i get confused on it sometimes Patient position is going to be major as well, too. You want to have situations where they throw a scenario out there and they're going to be like, what? 